This is the second video of three about reconciling in zero. So we're already in the reconciliation screen. We had 28 items to reconcile and uh, in the previous video I reconciled four. In this one we're just going to be doing one and it's all about creating a prepayment in zero. So to explain what that is, the, we've received £2,000 into our bank from Jacaranda Maple Systems. Now, in fact, this is a deposit for some work we're going to be doing. But we haven't created an invoice, either the full invoice or a deposit invoice. We said we would do the work once the deposit was received, and that would be confirmation of the work going ahead. So if we just filled in the other side, which would just be a receive money, a cash transaction that we receive money into our bank account, when we come to create the invoice, we might not remember that they've already paid a deposit. So we need to create something that will remind us when we do uh, it create the actual invoice that a deposit has been paid. And to do this, we can create a prepayment. Now I can't create a prepayment on this side because I haven't got all the boxes that I need or the fields that I need. I don't want to go to find a match because there is no invoices. That takes me to, because the money's been received, that would take me to a list of unpaid sales invoices and there isn't one. So I need to go to add details. So I now get a bigger box of what was on the right hand side. So I'm able to select from the top here where it says direct payment, I'm able to select a prepayment. So Zero then fills in the box with some of, with the information that was on the bank statement line. So it's put in the um, customer name and it's put in the date of the, uh, of the statement line and it's taken the next invoice number. Now that's because this is going to be working similar to a credit note. It will sit in the system like a credit note. So it's given it an invoice number. Then we have our free type box in the reference here so we can type whatever we want in here. I'm going to just leave it as it is blank <laughs> and then we have our branding themes and the default is standard again I'm going to leave it at that if I wanted to upload any digital documents I can upload them against this prepayment if I want to so zero has also taken this information from the bank statement line I can amend this if I want to uh, type over the top but I'm going to leave it as it is and then I need to code it to an account in my chart of accounts. In this particular chart of accounts I do have one called income in advance and I'm going to choose that. You may not have that, you may want to create that one, you may want to create uh, deposits in advance or um, something else. You can you can create whatever um, codes you want. If you need any advice certainly ask your accountant and they'll be able to advise you. Now this um, income in advance has a default VAT rate of 20% on income. So I want to um, account for my VAT at this date. Um, but if you didn't want to, or you again, you can take advice from your accountant and you didn't want to um, account for the VAT at this moment, you want to account for the whole of the VAT when you create the full invoice, then you can change this to no VAT. So it doesn't go on the VAT return on the date of 11th of November, but I'm leaving it as this. Now um, we can fill in a region. This uh, company has got a tracking category set up, which is optional, but again, I'm just leaving that for this exercise. So we've got tax inclusive, so it's a 2000 pounds including VAT, and I'm going to save that transaction. So you can see it's got a little PP next to it. So this is a prepayment. So when I click OK, Zero will complete that prepayment and match the um, transaction of creating the prepayment um, to this bank statement line. Now the prepayment will be sitting in the sales part of Zero, So we can go and have a look in sales under awaiting payment. So here it is, 
here, Jacaranda Maple Systems. So it's working like a credit note. The credit notes are yellow like this with a CR. And if you did an overpayment, which is a very similar thing, which you can also select in the same way as I did this prepayment, that would have an OP next to it, but they all work in the same way. So when I start creating a sales invoice for Jacaranda Maple Systems, there will pop up a little reminder saying there is a prepayment in the system. Would you like to allocate it to this invoice? and you can say yes or no.